Hi everyone, Makeup Chief here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video on the robot makeup. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and click right here and check it out. As for the video today, I wanted to do something fairly simple that didn't take too much time. So we are going with a geisha look. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking right here. And there will be plenty more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks! First thing I'm doing is putting on a sunscreen underneath my foundation that's just going to help lighten my skin and moisturize. Then apply a nice light foundation. Next I'll be filling in my brows. I'm using Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Powder with an angled brush. And in the pictures I was researching this look, it shows that the brows have just a little bit of an arch and then very rounded and thin on the ends. So even though I have thicker eyebrows, I'm only going to fill in the look that I'm going for. Once that's completed, go ahead and do the other side. And remember, brows should be sisters, not twins. Using a fluffy brush, pick up a little bit of a hot pink eyeshadow. The one I'm using is from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And just start concentrating the darkest part of the pink around the corner of the eye, and then fanning out and blending the rest of it. Then I took a flat synthetic brush, picked up a little bit of a white shimmer, and went ahead and placed that over the eyelid and all the way up to the brow bone just to give a little bit of a shimmer. Then you're going to take your liquid liner and fill in your entire eyelid from crease all the way down to where your lashes start. And this is going to give you the effect of smaller eyes. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and make a small little triangle right at the innermost corner of the eye and flick it out and give it a wing at the other side. Once that's complete, it should look something like this. Now let's move on to the lips. I'm using a red liner by NYX and we're basically going to fill in our lips and draw a completely new shape. Once you have the bottom lip done, the way I find the easiest to make a nice cupid's bow is to just go from outer corner in, almost like you would draw the top of a heart, and then go ahead and pull the liner all the way around to the other side, but both the top and the bottom meet up. Once that's done, use your liner and just go ahead and fill in the outline you've created. Once you're done, you can add a little bit of a red gloss just to give it a nice shine. And at this point, your look can pretty much be done if you just need a quick makeup for a Halloween party. But if you want to get a little bit more creative, stay tuned and check this out. First, I'm using a black face paint, the same one that I used in my Dia Los Muertos video. It's a palette by Mayron. And you're basically creating the shape of a cherry tree branch. Once you have that done, you're going to take the same palette and with a little bit of white, you're just going to create a few little dots all the way around the branches to simulate the cherry blossoms. Once you have all the white dots filled in, go ahead and use the same palette and grab a little bit of red on your brush and then just go ahead and put a few red dots inside the areas of where you've done the white and this is just going to add a little bit of depth and color to our final result. And once that branch is done, you can leave it, but I decided to do another one on my forehead. I'm using the same Mayron palette with the black paint and creating another branch. Then I'm taking the white and just dotting along the branch edges again. Thank you. 
Once all the white dots are done, go ahead and take your red paint and fill in and create that depth like we did on the other branch. Once you've filled everything in, you should look something like this. Go ahead and put on a wig, your outfit, and you're ready to party.